And this one is in a sugar coated frosted. Let me check. Let me check. Hey guys, this is Judy from Judinka Nail Art. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have a fun haul video for you. So as you can see, I have some indie nail polish and nail care items in front of me. And I picked all of these up during polish pickup. If you are not familiar with polish pickup, you have a chance to get some very limited nail polishes, nail care, nail items, uh, some jewelry at polishpickup.com. I will make sure that I leave for you the website in the description box below. And this store is only open for a couple days. And that's usually the first weekend of the month. And as you see, I picked up some items from February pickup. They already arrived to me, I believe, last week, but I didn't have time to film sooner. So I am trying to get this video out for you before the next Polish pickup, which actually starts on March 2nd, which is on Friday. And I believe it goes all the way up until March 5th. If I'm wrong, I will make sure that I leave the correct dates for you somewhere so that you can go and check it out. The great thing about this is that there are different indie brands who make nail polishes and nail care. So you have a chance to try different indie brands that you haven't tried before and they are also introducing new brands every month. So there is a really huge selection. Each month they also have a team. Last month's team was Candy Crush. So that's all the nail polishes and nail care was in the sense of this team. And March's theme is books. And let me tell you guys, I already have 20 nail polishes on my wish list. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I will have to narrow it down. But I am really glad that I found this polish pickup page. I actually heard about it from Phoebe, from Phoebe Moon. And I also saw some pictures on Instagram and Facebook. So that's how it was brought to my attention. The other good thing is that you have flat shipping. So no matter how many items, products you decide to choose during the sale, you only have a $3 flat rate shipping in US and I believe $5 shipping to Canada. I do not think that they are shipping outside these two countries, but I would still recommend you to check it out and see what's new out there. So in my today's video, I will share with you what I got during the February Polish pickup, as I mentioned. And if you like this video, then don't forget to thumbs it up for me. And also please subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you would like to see more haul videos, especially I'm planning probably to pick up couple polishes through Polish Pickup now every month because I am in love with everything I received and I received everything, I think two weeks after the sales were closed. Great customer service, super fast shipping, absolutely awesome quality nail polishes. And some of these brands I was eyeing for a while and I really, really wanted to try some of their polishes. As always, if you have any questions, comments, just leave them for me in the comment section below. And I can't link any of these items for you in the description box, but as I already mentioned, you will have the website where you can go and check out the next Polish pickup. So first I have Moonshine Manny. She is also on the Polish pickup. She does have her own line. Actually, all of these indie makers have their own lines. Phoebe's nail polish is the one with all the candy. Her inspiration behind this was when Monica was baking for everybody in the apartment building and she was the one with all the candy. And just before I move on to the next one, 
from Night Owl Locker. I just want to apologize, I do not have any live spot with at this time. But going forward, I will try to make sure that I am also showing you pictures of these nail polishes. And next you see I have this beautiful purple polish from Night Owl Locker. I recently actually discovered her. So when I saw this po polish and you know how much I love purple polishes, I knew that I have to have it. And this is tastes like purple. And I don't think this polish needs any words. I mean, look at it, it's absolutely gorgeous. So next up I have one of my all time favorite indie nail polish brands. And this was also one of the very first brands that I ever purchased from. And that's from Shine Spark Polish. And her polish is Glitchy Sweetness. I'm sorry if I butchered the name, but I absolutely love this curly polish. I mean, her curly polishes in general are really good. Oh, and just before I forget, all the swatches on the nail wheel are two coat. This one was absolutely a must have for me. I knew when I saw that she is part of the polish pickup that I will need her polish in my collection. And next up is Fair Maiden and their Cosmic Confection. And look at this absolutely stunning, stunning nail polish. This is my very first nail polish from them. And as I was watching it, I was like, oh, this polish is like a dream. So I can't wait to wear it. I do believe you may need a peel of base coat underneath this one, but it's really just your personal preference. And I really like it. I was very happy with this one and I'm pretty sure I will be picking up more polishes from them as well. And the last nail polish I picked up during the February polish pickup is from Emily the Molly. And this is the Sugar Coated Memories. And guys, I am sold. I need all of their nail polishes now. Again, this is my very first Emily the Molly nail polish. I swatched this one and it was a one coater and I could not stop staring at my nails. It's absolutely beautiful. Thinking about getting more nail polishes from them and their polishes also come in a cute little box. I don't have it anymore, but it was like a silver holographic box and I really, really liked it. And again, you may need a peel off base coat, that's what I use anyways, but... And now more into the nail care and the latexes. As you see, I have a cuticula and a nail it liquid latex, and I was really looking at their liquid latexes for a long, long time. However, every time when I put them in my cart, the shipping was really high for my liking so I always kind of skipped getting them. I do believe that the quality of these latexes is probably the same as what they have on their website in the regular line but these two were both inspired by something sugary so the nail it one is, uh, in, is in a gummy worms scent, cotton candy frosted cake scent. So I am really looking forward to try these. I actually am planning kind of like maybe a battle of liquid latex this video. Let me know if that's something you would like to see. I don't want to open them because huh, for some reason once they are open they start drying up so I just want to look at them for now but let me know what you think about that video idea. And now I'm getting to like hand care and nail care. Uh, this is Lily's Anne's Garden in truffle shuttle if i'm reading it right i really do like the smell i'm not really sure how i'm gonna use this because my cream is not moving i try to shake it i try to stand it upside down let me know guys if there is something with this formula or if it's only mine for some reason i don't know how i'm gonna use this hand cream but i have high hopes for it because i know people love this brand and I really wanted to try their thing, so please, cream, come out. <laughs> and then I also got this Ever After Cuticle Curly Candy Crush Cuticle Cream. My cuticles are killing me. I don't know what's going on with them this winter, but even if you look at them on my picture, in my pictures, they are 
they, I don't know, they look like as if I, I never took care of them, but I did. And it also came with this cute cuticle oil, so I'm really looking forward to trying these. I do have a couple cuticle balms right now that I'm using, but I definitely am looking forward to try them. And then I also got this Mocha Java Buttercream Cuticle Balm from Shine Spark Polish. I like her lipstick or lip balms a lot, so I am very curious to try this one. And I also got a cuticle oil pen from Nailhood. It doesn't say the scent and I don't remember what the scent was, but I am looking forward to try it because as I said, my cuticles do need some TLC. Alright guys, so that's it for my Polish pickup haul for the month of February. Let me know what do you think if you would like to see these videos every month when I purchase something from Polish Pickup. For right now, I am definitely buying some nail polishes. I am really looking forward to Friday and as I said, I do have like 20 polishes on my wish list, but I I will I will have to cut that down a little bit because still indie nail polishes are a little bit on a more expensive side than than regular nail polishes let me know also if you guys will go and check out polish pickup this month and if you did then let me know what did you get and if you are maybe planning on continuing to go there every month and see what these indie brands are offering so thank you so much all for being here today thank you so so much for watching my video and I will be back for you with some more soon. So thank you. Bye bye.